Good morning, CPC family. It is very good to be here with you today on day 15 of Matthew. Today we are picking up again where we left off uh, yesterday, which is chapter 11, and today we'll be reading verses 1 through 19. I think you're going to like these. Uh, before we come to it, though, let's take a deep breath together. Let's just breathe in and out. When Jesus finished placing this charge before his twelve disciples, he went on to teach and preach in their villages. John, meanwhile, had been locked up in prison. When he got wind of what Jesus was doing, he sent his own disciples to ask, Are you the one we've been expecting, or are we still waiting? Jesus told them, Go back and tell John what's going on. The blind see, the lame walk, lepers are cleansed, the deaf hear, the dead are raised. The wretched of the earth learn that God is on their side. Is this what you are expecting? Then count yourselves most blessed. When John's disciples left to report, Jesus started talking to the crowd about John. What did you expect when you went out to see him in the wild? A weekend camper? Hardly. What then? A sheik in silk pajamas? Not in the wilderness, not by a long shot. What then, a prophet? That's right, a prophet. Probably the best prophet you'll ever hear. He is the prophet that Malachi announced when he wrote, I am sending my prophet ahead of you to make the road smooth for you. Let me tell you what's going on here. No one in history surpasses John the baptizer, but in the kingdom he prepared you for, the lowliest person is ahead of him. For a long time now, people have tried to force themselves into God's kingdom. But if you read the books of the prophets and God's law closely, you will see them culminate in John, teaming up with him and preparing the way for the Messiah of the kingdom. Looked at it in this way, John is the Elijah you've been expecting to arrive and introduce the Messiah. Are you listening to me? Really listening? How can I account for this generation? The people have been spoiled like children whining to their parents. We wanted to skip rope and you were always tired. We wanted to talk, but you were always too busy. John came fasting and they called him crazy. I came feasting and they called me a lush. A friend of the riffraff. Opinion polls don't count for much, do they? The proof of the pudding is in the eating. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for your kingdom. We thank you that no matter what happens, your kingdom is growing and flourishing. No matter what opinion polls say, Father, we thank you that wherever you are, your kingdom goes ahead of you and grows around you. Help us to be part of that kingdom work. We pray these things in the precious name of Jesus. Amen. Well, CPC friends, I hope that you've enjoyed these strange, these strange verses. I keep sounding like a broken record, but uh, this might be worth going back and reading the NIV or the ESV. Um, I certainly don't remember the phrase, the proof of the pudding is in the eating, um, but I'm sure that I will clear that up if I go back and look at the other translations. Uh, either way, I hope you've enjoyed this today. I hope you guys have a great day. I love you guys, I miss you, and I will see you here again tomorrow.